what exactly is anemia that is called as anemia the first would be only women get anemia so the oxygen carrying capacity women are common just feeling tired there are many symptoms feeling tired anemia only causes because of poor diet there are many 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 other causes iron supplements work instantly if it is iron deficiency anemia within 12 to 24 hours it takes one month anemia is not serious so if you want to see hello everyone welcome to omega health today we have dr ravi sri pediatrician and pediatric hemato oncologist and bmt transplant expert at omega hospitals today's topic is uh, most misunderstood and most common topic which is anemia so let's talk about this more with our doctor let's see what are the misconceptions what are the myths how is it diagnosed what are the tests to get diagnosed and many more hi ma'am hello welcome to omega health oh, thank you <laughs> yeah. can you please introduce yourself ma'am hello everyone i'm dr navesh renigella pediatrician and pediatric hemato oncologist at omega hospitals kachibawli pediatric hemato oncology ante blood and tumor related problems kids lo evaithe unnayo usually treat that thank you very much ma'am so let's get to the basics of it so today's topic would be anemia and uh, as you know adi blood ki related problem hai so what exactly is anemia mana body lo red blood cells an untai yeah. that carries hemoglobin so hemoglobin carries oxygen to all of the organs in our body whenever there is decrease in hemoglobin there will be that is called as anemia so the oxygen carrying capacity will be reduced in for the organs okay so it can be for all the mottam body anta yeah eventually first it affects brain because brain is the maximum uh, brain is a organ which takes maximum amount of blood supply so brain is the organ first which gets affected later all the organs kidneys liver also get affected okay so how common is it in india so globally india has a huge uh, uh, burden of anemia and uh, in india it is most commonest uh, problem faced by children as well as women 67% of children aged between 6 months to 5 years are are having anemia in our india and 57% of adolescent girls aged between 10 to 18 years are been affected by anemia in india so 57% of women in our india are affected by anemia and 23% of men are also affected by anemia in india so usually there's a misconception that only women and children are affected by anemia in india but also many men having many other nutritional deficiencies even though it's less common but other conditions are there which are affecting men okay so what could be the primary cause of anemia so if we want anemia causes chusukunte we can divide it to for our understanding we can divide it into two forms okay. nutritional and non nutritional anemia okay in india in developing countries usually the nutritional anemia are the most commonest taking 10 to 40% of anemia in india are iron deficiency anemia rest all are other causes like non iron deficiency anemia conditions like folic acid deficiency b12 deficiency micronutrient deficiency and other causes like uh, hemoglobinopathies fluorosis uh, hemolytic anemias so the many other multiple causes other than just iron deficiency anemia then how to identify what is the exact cause of anemia like how does the symptoms be so we can diagnose anemia by symptoms and by laboratory investigations so symptoms it's a uh, very common symptoms like most of the uh, people face in india like fatigue headache and uh, you know decreased your performance your activities compared to previously so what exactly do you mean by uh, activity in kids when you talking about the kids what exactly do do they mean academically sports or like how does how does it uh, so both physical and mental performance will be decreased no. how do we know whether the physical and mental performance has decreased in kids you have to always compare it to previous okay how was he previously was he too active and was he jumping playing running around and now is it decreased even the scholastic performance also should be compared like that previously was he performing good and suddenly your performance has reduced and is feeling fatigue headache other associated with other symptoms you cannot isolate it with a single symptom okay it so, should be associated okay so when the symptoms occur like uh, first thing i think they have to see a doctor what are the general tests that they suggest to figure out whether a kid has an anemia or an adult has an anemia or not 
So whenever a kid approaches uh, to a uh, to a doctor, mm -hmm. we always first exam first is symptoms. Yeah. So we always ask parents what are the symptoms of the kids. Yeah. After symptoms, we examine the kid. When we examine, if we see any paleness under the under under your eyes or, or on your palms, soles, if we see there is any features of anemia, then we do a simple blood test called as complete blood count. Okay. Where we see all the cell counts. Like what is the hemoglobin, what is the white cell count, what is the platelet. So depending upon what is the hemoglobin uh, and what is, we see something called as MCV, that is mean corpuscular volume. So depending upon that, if it is less, usually it goes to iron deficiency anemia. If, if the MCV is more, we usually it goes to vitamin B12 deficiency and folic acid uh, deficiency. So we try to diagnose by simple test initially. If you are not able to find out, then we will do the anemia profile related to iron, vitamin B12 and folic acid levels. Okay. So, let us consider that someone didn't get diagnosed or like didn't go to a doctor to get diagnosed. What are the long term effects of uh, anemia? So, as we discussed previously, anemia ante manalo unna uh, oxygen carrying capacity undo for different organs reduce out Yeah. If we take brain. Yeah. Obviously, mana thinking capacity, yeah. mana performing capacity, and we always feel tired, fatigue, and all. You no, know, we don't feel like doing anything. Okay. And long term, when there is low hemoglobin in your body, the heart, yeah. the the first effect will be on your heart. Okay. Because heart will try to pump more amount of blood, so the heart activity will increase. Okay. So that will lead to heart failure eventually. Oh, okay. And also when the oxygen carrying capacity is reduced for the kidneys, obviously it goes to kidney failure. So, slowly there will be multi-organ failure. Okay, just because there is no oxygen, no oxygen supply, yeah. supply to the other parts. So, let's say what are the treatment, uh, treatment options available for anemia at the moment? Treatment depends upon what is the cause of the anemia. Mm -hmm. So, as we discussed, only 10 to 40 percent is iron deficiency anemia. Okay. So, as in India, if we see 60 to 90 percent of the people mm -hmm. are getting unnecessary iron. Because everyone in India have been put on iron supplements, not knowing what is the cause of anemia. Because not everyone are aware and not everyone are going for to know the cause of it. Okay. Can any lifestyle changes help solving anemia? Of course, eating a balanced diet. Your physical, increase your physical activity, maintain a balanced diet, you know, try to be more aware of what you're consuming. Consume nutritional food, colorful food which includes all colors like green, orange, red meat and eggs. If you eat a balanced diet, if it is nutritional deficiency anemia, definitely the nutrition will help. But if it is not nutritional deficiency anemia, then the nutrition itself might not help. So what are the prevention and lifestyle changes strategies that we can apply? We can divide this category into three types. One is based upon food. Next is your nutritional awareness and education. And third is based upon your health checkup. So on food, if you see, we are supposed to, as I already discussed, we are supposed to eat a balanced diet, both iron rich, folic acid, vitamin B12 and protein rich diet, which includes all green leafy vegetables, carrots, beetroot, pomegranates, eggs and red meat. And nutritional education or awareness is you knowing what are the requirements of your body, what are the required resources required for your body for for iron, for your uh, B12, for your folic acid. Once you know that, you try to consume them accordingly. So we are supposed to know what is the requirement of iron for your body. When you are knowing those things and taking re the required amount of iron to your body and folic acid or vitamin B12 or any other micronutrients which are required, then you will have less nutritional deficiencies. Creating awareness amongst your family members, like avoiding all junk food. That's one of the main thing we, which we are supposed to do, non-nutritional food, like which includes most of the times maida and bread. Yeah. That has to be avoided because I consider maida as a non-nutritional food, which has been coming from years. So we are supposed to avoid all non-nutritional food, which doesn't have any vegetables in that. It's only maida and cheese and things like that. So once we avoid those things, then we will try fixing our lifestyle with a this has to be a routine lifestyle. Eating nutritional food is not a is a gift you are supposed to give to your body. It has to be like everyday exercise. It's not like one day you're gifting your body with a nutritional food. Once in a while you can eat junk food. But every day should be like how you do your workout, how you breathe, how you work. The food habits also should be nutritional regularly. Okay. 
let's bust some myths and facts about anemia the first would be only women get anemia women are common are prone to get anemia but okay. kids and men are also equally prone for getting anemia depending upon the cause nutritional causes are more especially iron deficiency is common in women because of their menstrual bleeding okay and when in pregnancy it is called because of requirement in children it is common because of the requirement the requirement during growth is more so you have to provide the requirement you have to meet the requirements if you meet the requirements usually the nutritional deficiencies will be uh, solved okay anemia means uh, just feeling tired there are many symptoms feeling tired is one of the symptom other symptoms like headache irritability and decreased performance activity also are one of the and short breath you feel you know shortness of breath when you're walking you won't be able to walk there are only two causes for shortness of breath one is your heart problem and one is anemia oh okay so, so these are the only two causes yeah so whenever you feel shortness of breath you have to think about any heart problem or any anemia so the third one would be uh, does eating iron taking iron supplements reduce anemia iron deficiency anemia can be again either your intake can be reduced or your absorption so you have to know what is it okay so if it is your intake is reduced and you are providing supplements you are increasing your diet you are modifying your diet that works but if there is a gut problem if there is absorption problem yeah. then we have to treat the gut problem so that the absorption of iron will happen so we have to find out exactly what is the cause of the your iron deficiency anemia as well does drinking tea after a meal help in digestion and nutrition immediately after having meal you are not supposed to drink tea because tea has tannins so tannins will decrease your iron absorption it has to be avoided what is tannin doctor so tannins are the compound uh, compounds which are found in tea that binds with the iron which you take so making iron unavailable for your intestinal absorption so therefore you will not have any iron uh, which is available for the absorption when you take tannins immediately after eating okay so the fifth one anemia is not serious so whenever there is less hemoglobin in your body if it's in kids obviously the growth is affected so if the growth is not proper and and your cognitive behavior is not proper the child's health the complete overall health is uh, you know reduced is affected if it is in a long term way the hemoglobin is less then it puts lot of effects on your heart so as your heart tries to pump more amount of blood because of the uh, decrease amount of hemoglobin your heart will start failing eventually and other organs as well sixth one is anemia only causes because of poor diet nutritional anemia is are because of the poor diet there are many 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 other causes of anemia okay. so that is why that is the whole and sole reason that you have to go to a physician to get tested and all the reason all the more reason that you are not supposed to treat by yourself because you have to know the cause unless you know the cause you cannot treat if it is not iron deficiency and you keep on taking iron supplements in fact it might harm you by causing iron overload so when there is a lot of iron overload in your body so it affects even iron excessive iron also affects your body how ma'am so it affects your heart if it affects your endocrine organs if it it affects your liver the seventh myth would be iron supplements work instantly Uh, if it is iron deficiency anemia within 12 to 24 hours you will have symptomatic relief like your irritability will decrease your shortness of breath your fatigue might reduce a little bit it takes 1 month for your hemoglobin to raise and it may it takes 3 months to replenish your stores so if you want to see raise in hemoglobin you have to take the supplements at least for 1 month and to re- totally replenish your stores you have to take it for 3 months that is why the treatment for iron deficiency anemia when you give iron you give it for 3 months okay. because the stores also should get replenished thank you all for tuning in so we understood today that anemia is pretty much treatable what are the common symptoms so next topic would be thalassemia one of the non nutritional anemia that that's also affecting many people today so thank you signing off this is saket yeah